This is introduction to SOLIDWORKS and we'll be using SOLIDWORKS 2017. What we're going to be doing here today is just an introduction of the interface. So you know where the tools are whenever you need them. So the SOLIDWORKS user interface is not so different from what we find in Microsoft. Um, softwares like Microsoft Word and REST. As you can see up here, the top left corner we have the file. Under the file we have the new open and these are existing projects that are already done. So we can always open up a new project from here or a new file or open up an existing one. So that's where you find under the file tab. Also we have the view. The view is basically just to customize your user interface to what you would prefer. So I can choose I want the full screen. But I don't want a full screen, so I just uncheck this. I can choose I want the two bars to show or not to show. So um, the two bars won't reflect here right now until I've opened up a new project. So um, the view, everything under the view, just put it in mind that everything under the view is basically to customize the user interface for your own preference. And then we have tools, other SolidWorks applications and um, add-ins so um, many of these you might not really need right now for this introduction class since you're just very new to SOLIDWORKS so um, and then the help also SOLIDWORKS help this links you to the internet SOLIDWORKS tutorials there's actually um, some inbuilt tutorials into the SOLIDWORKS software so you can always check on them um, we have search release notes what's new introducing solidworks pdf this is very important this is actually like a reference guide to solidworks so if i click on this it brings up this pdf for me it's a large textbook of 127 pages so you can use this for further um, practice and study of your own okay so um the help tools are actually important for us so you can always check on all of this all right and then if you notice here my tools are pinned that's because i already pinned them but if yours is like this then you'd have to go to this arrow and then click on the pin to keep them just there all right um i've shown us already the new which we found here but aside using this we can always also come here to click on new open we are all accustomed to this um symbol here this icon which is your save this is our print your undo your select your rebuild rebuild is if i've made a particular solid object and then i go back to it or i go back to alter some sketches that i used to create the solid so when i click on this rebuild it like refreshes or regenerates the solid that was already made regenerates it with the changes that i just made to the sketch so that's what we use rebuild for you might not understand that right now but when we get into the soldiers proper you'll be able to understand what i'm talking about and then we have file properties and options under the options here we have add-ins save restore settings button size um so these are just also your preference like options is to change make changes okay, um the way you want your drawings to show but i just don't touch all of this and i'll suggest that you don't also <laughs> well you can you can choose to alter some things here but to make sure that you know what you're touching and know what you are changing so if you don't like it you can always go back to correct and then we have add-ins also so we have built-in add-ins that come into SolidWorks software when you install as if you install the full package so here um all of these add-ins are not activated so you have the option of clicking this to activate them during startup that's while you are starting the SolidWorks software or you just activate them on the go when you just when you need them so like now if i click on this it means i need it right now even though i don't want it to be to be activated when i start up the um the software all right so i'll cancel this and then we have here this originally 
shows this way the soil docs help so if i can i can also always click here for help and then um i just personally put commands because in case if i i've forgotten where a particular command is but um with time i, I don't think I, I can't remember the last time i used this so in case you know that a particular tool exists like i know there's an extrude somewhere i know that there's a sketch sketch picture somewhere but i don't just know where it is so i can type my sketch picture okay let me see um, okay maybe when i get back into the proper tools it will be able to show yeah because extrude is showing also okay so you can use this so if you're wondering how i got here it's just by clicking this drop down and i click on commands as a default it's going to be selecting solidworks here but you can change that all right so um i know we know what these ones are for <laughs> anyways this solid work resources button here allows me also to open a new document open a open an existing document and tutorials i spoke to you about i can click on it here and then opens this up for me so i'm um, getting into any of these i can see few tutorials so this is going to take me like 45 minutes to complete them according to their predictions or estimations so um if you're also preparing for your solidworks um certif certified solidworks professional certif certified solidworks associates examinations you can always click on this to do a few of these um, exercises to brush up your knowledge so the tutorial kit is actually very useful i remember that i used it very well i used a lot of it when i was learning solidworks so i think it should also it's not compulsory anyway but um more knowledge is in the know all right um online training this is just as it says so if i click on this i'm not connected to the internet right now but if i click on this then i'll be able to get my online training just to link me to some um, particular resources online from solidworks okay so introducing solidworks is also a test because i showed us before the pdf general information and um, the rest okay and then we have design library design library houses a lot of tools that you would use during your solidworks so they don't expect you to um model all of these tools every time let's assume you want to use a particular bolt m16 you don't have to model m16 every single time that you want to use it so by checking your toolbox you see a lot of standards ans si asymmetric AS. so whatever standard you use in your country so you'll be able to pick on it like i use iso so bolts and screws so you just keep on navigating down to the particular tool that you desire to use okay so if you're wondering how i got here if you click on your toolbox yours might not have any tool yet but you see a particular button on that that should um activate adding right now mine isn't showing right now but if you just move this video backwards a bit you'll be able to see what i did there all right so i'm um, then 3d content central so those contents uh okay so here now is file explorer it's just the same as your open so just to navigate through your desktop and then check for the files that you need so view palette i'll come to this by the time we are getting to the end so this is where this view palette is where you convert your solids into drawing format for if if in case you need or the manufacturers need the photographic drawings for for um fabrication and so from here you can be able to do section views and your detailed views to each fabrication process all right um so appearance everybody loves to have their solids looking very very clean <laughs> so from here the appearance things and decals you're able to give your solidworks a background you're able to change your um the material of your solids 
or components that you've designed you're able to give them painted um, views and appearances glass a list of materials are here so you can just check through there's no standard to it the only thing you need to know is um the appearance doesn't really affect the simulations that you do but when you're picking materials for your solids for your components now the materials themselves affect the simulations that you do let me explain this i can pick i can choose okay let's assume i make i model something like a table in solidworks a table is not going to be a table yet and solidworks is not going to assume that it's made of wood so if i go up and by the time we get into the model, modeling um space be able to see that very well but let me just explain it now so if i pick material of the table to be made of wood now so does has identified it as wood however even though it looks like wood i can make it even though the material is wood i can make it look like something else it's just for appearance sake that might not make any like, any sense at all but um so it allows you to do that so custom properties um okay so here the, under this decals decals is simply if you are going to put an inscription or like let's assume a barcode or a picture or something on your solid so you can always do that okay so now that we've talked about this um we'll prepare for the next class